Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Kristen and welcome to another weekly vlog. I just started dinner. It's getting kind of late. So we're having tacos tonight. I also just got two pair of pajamas from this boutique that I've been hawking for the last few weeks you guys so i wanted to show you these pajamas tonight which is why i decided to go ahead and start the video today so we're gonna do a mini haul it's only two pieces i ordered two pieces for myself and i ordered one for my girl latoya and i already dropped hers off at her house but i want to check these pieces out and see what they hidden for this was not sponsored and then that'll probably conclude today and then we're gonna get into the rest of the week but be sure to drop your star in the comments section to let me know you made it down below as well as hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new The Flintstone, Flintstone pajama set. Oh look, and the booty part. Look at the booty part, y'all. Oh, husbands might like that. And the second one, it says no bad vibes. This is my speed, y'all. Oh yeah, no bad vibes. Look at that. Material is cool. I like that. Oh look, look, look at the booty, y'all. Look at the booty. It's got the little, the pocket. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> okay, let me try these on. Okay y'all, I have on the first pajamas. These are really, really comfortable. Now, I will say this y'all, I'm always cold. I wear socks to sleep because I'm always, always, always cold. So the no sleeves thing is gonna be kind of an adjustment for me, but it was, it was too cute. So I do remember getting this one and I like the material. The material feels good, it's elastic, it's stretchy, but at the same time, it's gonna be comfortable for nighttime, okay? <laughs> and then this is the back. <laughs> And I was like, you gonna like these pajamas because they got this cute little part in the back with the pockets. And he's like, your friend is in town, so no, I won't like it. <laughs> oh my goodness. So anyway, let me try on the second one because the second one is what I'm actually gonna wear tonight. I knew I wanted to wear it because it's black and I did want the sleeve. So I'm gonna switch real quick so y'all can see that one too. Okay, you guys, this is the second one and this is definitely right up my alley for this evening. I I like these a lot I'm for sure going to be shopping with her again these are just too comfortable and they're cute like everybody wants to be cute I feel like this is something that I would definitely gift other people too I told you I got one for my friend Latoya I keep waiting for her to text me and tell me if it fits do she like it <laughs> but I will say this y'all I love this. this these are nice and I definitely will be shopping with them again so let me just real quick show you guys this is the side I'm feeling cute okay <laughs> I think it's nice to be cute even to go to bed. And these are definitely pajama party approved. I hope I'm not ashy y'all. It's been a long day, okay? <laughs> but this is the back. And then it does have that thing in the back, almost like the diaper. You know how when you have your kids and you have, you're able to like unbutton the back of their outfit? This is kind of what this is like, so yes. Two thumbs up. So anyways, you guys, it's nine o'clock. We were up last night watching Contagion, which I would not recommend watching that in the middle of an epidemic, but we was up watching Contagion till like one in the morning. So I'm really tired. So I'm about to go to sleep. I will catch up with you guys in the morning and we'll continue this video then. Let me go, let me out. My time is precious to me. So you just have to do without. Here's something you can think about. You play me good. No doubt, but you're the one that's missing out Cause baby, we got issues, yeah Not gonna make them dictate my life So baby, if you got issues, yeah Don't you take it out of me Honey, I think we lost the toe wa 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 Guess I'm not into you that Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> today is, what's today baby, Wednesday? Yeah, it's Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. 
I just got done doing this ride with Alex from Peloton. It was a little Wayne ride and I had a lot of fun. However you guys, I have not been riding the bike consistently for a minute and it was hard. I'm so like out of shape right now, it's not even funny. So I really need to get my butt back on the bike. They're doing this four week challenge this month where basically each week has a different challenge. Last week you joined the team and you had to ride with every, or basically you had to do a class with every single instructor on your team. Then this week you had to do two live rides. So today was my first live. Tomorrow I think I'm actually going to do like yoga or something like that. And then next week. Do you remember what next week is baby? You have to like high five a couple people or something like that. I forget. But basically it's something every week to get you one exposed to different instructors. Two doing different things. Trying different classes out on the platform. So it's been a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed it so far. And it's got my butt back on the bike, which is the most important thing, okay? <laughs> so this week so far has been uneventful. It's actually been kind of cool. But I will say this, you guys, I was in a trade that I entered into on, I think it was either yesterday or Monday. I woke up this morning at like four in the morning, stressed out about my trade and could not get back to sleep. And it was a, it was a hot mess. So I finally got out my trade. I didn't make anything, which kind of sucked. But I was just glad I didn't lose anything either. And as long as you don't take an L, hey, it is what it is. So I'm curious if any of you guys have open brokerage accounts, have started trading, how's it going? Make you know, Are you making sure you're protecting your gains and your losses and all that good stuff like we talked about? I'm just very curious to hear because I have been learning a lot. I've been having a lot of success and I just absolutely love it. And then Brian, he's over here doing some things on his phone. I think he's looking at his stocks right now, but he's been doing it too. But he's a little more conservative than me and probably more patient. I'm not quite as patient <laughs> as Brian, but we've been having a good time with it nonetheless and you know, getting our little situation together. But I'm actually now getting dinner ready. So I've got some vegetables in the microwave and then we've got our chicken. We did Parmesan chicken last night. So that is in the oven heating up. And what else do we got going on baby? Oh, we're doing mashed potatoes. So we got some mashed potatoes on the stove getting ready and we're just doing our day two of dinner over here at our crib. Parmesan chicken, broccoli out the bag with some cheese on it, mashed potatoes. <laughs> I wanted to show you something that I ordered. Came recommended from my friend Michelle, E. Michelle. And these are basically Gel X nail extensions. They're from a company called, I'ma just spell it cause I don't wanna mess up the pronunciation, but it's A-P-R-O-S. And these nail draw are so cute. They're coffin nails. And I'm gonna try to put them on. Not tonight though. But let me show y'all. So these are like, clear coffin i can't wait to try them and see what it's hidden for michelle said they're bomb and they last and hold up and that i definitely will like them and i will say this you guys they feel really nice the um the shape is perfect not too long not too short i think i got the medium length yeah natural coffin medium soft gel and they're 500 pieces in 10 sizes so good looking out michelle I can't wait to try these. I still need to get like a couple other parts or a couple other uh, things I need to go with this to make it happen. But my real nails, let me show you all my real nails. My real nails, I actually just filed them. So they look pretty cute. They almost are like coffin nails, but natural. So this is what I'm looking like with my real nails. And I've been taking my vitamin D lately because I had to be prescribed vitamin D. My vitamin D was really, really low. I don't know if I ever told you guys was really really low so I'm on vitamin D I've been taking my regular daily multivitamin trying to make sure I'm super healthy also taking my vitamin C I think that's it but I take my vitamins I try to make sure I take them every day I just actually realized I didn't take my stuff today so I'm gonna have to take my butt back downstairs and get my stuff you know if you're not taking your vitamins make sure you get your vitamins in because you got to be healthy you got to be prepared for any and everything you may have to face with your body but the one thing I did want to talk to you guys about today is actually not vitamins, okay? <laughs> I wanted to talk to you guys about a question I get all the time on my channel. 
and it's pertaining to how I get so much done in a day which I probably will do like a video just kind of like a day in the life or something like that where I show it all but ultimately I do kind of have a system I do a lot in my life you guys you know I have my real job my regular job the nine to five well it's more like eight to five I have YouTube which is like my side hobby also I'm obviously married kids we got two dogs over here look they over here they have taken over our bed which I never have been like a dogs in the bed person but that's a whole nother story so we have a lot going on Brian has a lot going on like it's crazy and I will say like I do feel like I get a lot done you know we're doing stocks right now as I mentioned earlier so it's a lot like the plate is full however I think the one thing for me that helps me to be able to be as productive as productive as I am is outside of YouTube which is like like I said my hobby I really only burn free time with spending time with my people and I make it on social media every once in a while and I'm always hustling and I don't want to feel like I'm just hustling 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 forever there's gonna gonna have to come a point where I like slow that slow down a little bit and I don't work as much all the time but it's pretty rare to see me watching television unless it's like with purpose or doing things where I'm literally just sitting there for an extended period of time just wasting time. I work on everything for most of my day. Most of my waking time I'm doing something productive to move the ball forward, move the needle forward just a little bit to try to get after the goals that I have for myself, the things that I'm trying to achieve, the things I'm trying to learn. Like even if it's only 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes here, 30 minutes there, and I have to admit you guys, I'm not the best when it comes to lists. I'm not the best when it comes to, you know, outside of my work calendar, because I am pretty good about my work calendar, my to-do list there, and my project management stuff there. But outside of that, for like my personal endeavors, I know what I want to achieve. I have my goals written down. I'm a, a huge advocate of vision boards. I'm a huge advocate of, as the Bible says, write the vision, make it plain. But at the same time, when it comes to like daily checklists and things of that nature, I don't do that is much so i i just have to admit like i'm not the best when it comes to that but i am pretty good about my high level goals keeping those front and center making sure i'm focused on those continuing to work on them every single day to move the needle forward and that works pretty well for me like i feel like i've been pretty successful in my life and in my career and in my personal life by doing those things that i think is like in a nutshell it's pretty simple for me and it tends to work because i just i'm kind of focused and I, I stay focused i'm i'm laser focused and i think the one thing that's kind of a, a downfall of that is sometimes it's hard to keep up with friends other than I do text my friends so I have like a couple people I talk to on text message but I don't have a lot of friends like that like I probably have like two friends I talk to every day and then there's some people I catch up with like every once in a while but ultimately I'm pretty laser focused when it comes to my goals and the things that I'm working on and I don't spend a lot of idle time just doing things that aren't value add to whatever it is that's the biggest focus in my life you know my, my people my job my my hobbies and all the fun stuff and my my little doggies your girl is pretty laser focused and I don't really waste a lot of idle time doing things that don't add value to the goals that I have set for myself so I hope that helps a little bit I think you know it's pretty simple don't be sitting up watching people on TV getting and achieving their dreams when you could be working on yours you know what I'm saying and it is good every because I do watch YouTube it is good to do some things that are fun for yourself but don't find yourself doing that stuff for hours on end and wasting a whole bunch of time you know watching other people when you could be doing some things for yourself if you haven't taken time to do something for yourself today make sure you do that okay <laughs> so you guys with that I said this video was gonna be long but I don't really think it's it's become that long <laughs> of a video this week so I just you know I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you do want more vlogs make sure you check out my vlog channel because we've been having a lot of fun over there so if you want to be a k-star over on that channel too make sure you go and subscribe I'll make sure to pin a, a link to that channel so you guys can go check it out but go check me out over there and if you're new to my channel subscribe down below hit the thumbs up button oh you guys I'm wearing my pajamas so these are my um 
my Flintstone pajamas. I got them on tonight and I'm so comfortable. Hopefully I don't get cold though because I told y'all I get cold. <laughs> so hopefully I don't get cold tonight but they are so comfortable. So if you haven't checked the Onesie Nation out, this is not sponsored by any means. I just, like I said, I've been stalking them for a while and if you're looking for some good pajamas, check them out. And if you go to their Instagram, let them know Kristen Alexis sent you. You know, let them know I sent you because I'm gonna end up getting me some more stuff over there. But anyway, y'all. I'm rambling at this point. So thank you for watching. I love y'all. I appreciate you. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.